They're worried it signals intent to breach the dams and generate alternate power they say could cost more to produce. Republican representatives Kathy McMorris Rogers and Dan Newhouse have released a letter addressed to President Biden that includes the leaked document. The document is marked as part of confidential mediation dated November 2nd of this year. King 5 has not independently verified who leaked it or if it's up to date. But Republican representatives say it appears to create a quote, Pacific Northwest tribal energy program that would be involved with producing alternate power sources if the dams were breached. The Public Power Council, which represents consumer owned utility companies, including more than 30 in Washington, says the possible plan would be expensive to fulfill with costs that could be passed on to customers. It would be a massive impact in terms of the rates, in terms of the impacts to our grid reliability, uh, and ultimately to the fabric that we know it as a power system here in the Northwest. The White House told the Associated Press in a statement that negotiations are ongoing and the U.S. government is, quote, developing a package of actions and commitments that it is discussing with all parties involved in the mediation. Tribes from across the Northwest have pushed to breach the dams, saying it's the government's responsibility in order to meet treaty obligations and restore salmon runs. More on that at 530. Ultimately, it's up to Congress to vote to fund breaching of the dams and the work that would follow. Back to you.